The purpose of this video is to demonstrate to users the request rescan feature found in the RN150 virtual appliance. Anytime additional subnets or credentials are entered into the RN150 virtual appliance, a rescan is required to append any newly found data to the assessment. I will begin this video by opening a web browser and navigating to portal.risknetworks.com. Once you have logged into the portal, please select the assessment you are wishing to view the data for. When entering into the assessment, if you are not taken to the assets page, please do so. You may find the assets by clicking the Consume Intelligence dropdown and clicking Assets. Please keep in mind that the scope of the assessment is defined by the subnets that are entered into the RN150. Upon review of the scope, I have noticed there is a server that was left out of the initial discovery scan. To have the device included into the scope of the assessment, I'm going to return to the RN150 virtual appliance. I have opened a tab and navigated to the IP address of the virtual appliance. First, I will enter into the subnet section to define the IP address of the device in question. For the subnet mask, I'm going to define it as a slash 32. Defining a subnet mask with a slash 32 will cause the virtual appliance to only scan this single IP address. Once the subnet mask has been selected, please click Add. This single device has now been included in the scope of the assessment. I am now going to return to the main dashboard to enter the credential in for the device. This particular device is a Windows device. I will enter into the Windows section to enter the credential for the device. Please enter the username and password. When the credential has been added, please click Add Credential. I am then asked if I would like to test the credential to a device. It is highly recommended that you always test credentials to ensure the credential has the proper privilege level to access the device. I'm going to enter in the IP address of the device. I will now test the credential. Now that I have received a successful test, it is time to return to the dashboard and request a rescan. The request rescan button can be found on the dashboard of the RN150 appliance. Upon clicking request a rescan, you will be asked to confirm the settings. Three subnets will be scanned. Three Windows credentials have been entered. You may also see the details for the other sections of the appliance. I will now click Rescan. When the rescan has completed, you will be notified by email. When the notification email has been received, please return to the Assets section to ensure the device has been properly inventoried. I just received a notification email letting me know the discovery scan has completed. As you can see, the device is now accurately listed in the subnet list, as well as now properly inventoried.